Hi everybody, welcome back to Sacred Body Studio. My name is Fabi, so we're going to start our routine today. And our routine today is for the hips, as well to give us that external rotation that we need for Warrior Two, for Prasarita, all these standing poses of yoga, and as well the sitting. And why not if we are preparing for our split as well? And remember that if you want to do more advanced class with those, follow our program online in our website. So you can go to sacredbodystudio.ie and you can find a full course for beginners, intermediate, advanced, if you want to do advanced poses like a handstand. So you can always visit our online platform and try it for 10 days for free. Today, we're going to start with our legs mobility. So are you ready? So we're going to start, we're going to sit down onto the butterfly. Now, the butterfly for some of us, our legs will be here, or some of us will be lower. It doesn't really matter, just it's important that we work as far as you don't feel pain on your groin. It's super important that you really feel the stretch in your inner thigh, which are the muscles we're going to work at doctors, but that you don't feel pressure neither on your on your groin and neither on your knees. In case that you are here and you still feel that sensation, so better to move to videos, uh, past videos, there is just legs mobility, that it was on the ground. Uh, uh, a workout that you can do it on the ground if you feel it's too much for the, you this class, okay? Remember that always is a way to adapt and modify for our body. You know, we don't have to be super flexible. Sometimes we just need to have mobility to don't lose our length and our flexibility of our muscles for our daily activities. So let's ready? Let's start. So I wanted to keep your back straight. So if it's difficult for you to have your back straight, you can lean against the wall or use your hands at the back. And we're going to lift our chest, engage the tummy, and we're going to swing our legs like a butterfly. So we hold here. We take a couple of breaths. Breathe in. Breathe out through your nose. Let's go for the three. And breathe out. And again, if you are not used to breathing and breathe out through your nose, you can breathe out through your mouth. And with the time, we're just going to back again to breathe in and breathe out through your nose. Take one more deep breath. Breathe in. And out. Now move your hands at the back, everybody, to help us to stray our back. Elbows bent and keep your fingertips on the ground. We're going to open the right leg, slide the foot. This is going to be hard. And then the other one. And we're going to move now first the left leg in and the right one. This is crossing legs. Now we're going to place our hands on the ground. You can keep your fingers pointing to the side or your fingers pointing to the front. And all fi or fingers pointing backwards, wherever is more comfy for you. We're going to move the heels in, one foot in front of the other one. Move the knees on the ground and we lift the pelvis and we open here our chest. We're going to hold here for four breaths. Breathe in. And breathe out. Let's go for three. And now, as far as it feels good, make sure that your knees are on the floor. Let's go for two. Breathe in. And out. And just one more. And out. We release. We move again our fingertips on our on the floor to help it to bend the elbows to stray our back. And we're gonna open and slide the right foot, and slide the left one, and this time right in, left in. I wanted to do this exercise without using your hands to strain your legs as well. And let's go other leg at the front. We're gonna lift your palms this time on the ground, lift your pelvis, knees on the ground, and we lift the pelvis as far as comfortable for us. Feel the stretch as well in your chest. Open your chest. We hold for four. Breathe in and breathe out. Let's go for three. And out. And let's go for two. Out. And just one more. Release everybody. Back again, your fingertips on the ground, elbows bent, lift your chest, straight your back. And we open left leg open, right leg open. We cross, 
always this con control. This time we're gonna lift the knees, lean backwards, balance yourself on your sit bones, and we catch our feet and we pull the legs closer. Engage your tummy to don't roll backwards. We hold four breaths. Breathe in and breathe out. Let's go for the three. Anna. Let's go for two. Ah, and just one more. Gently release. Back again. Your hands to straight your back. Slide the right foot. Left one. And we get back again. Right first. Left first. And this is going to help us as well to keep our legs warm up. Catch your feet. Engage your tummy. We hold for four. Breathe in. And breathe out. Let's go for the three. And uh, let's go for the two. Uh, and just one more. And gently drop your feet. Hands again. Straight your back. Open the left. Open the right. And this time we're going to close the left. So we're going to keep, help us this time with our hand to move the heel closer. So one is straight, one, one is straight, one is bent. Now we're going to go Janus Sasana. So we're going to go first to the side. And we're just going to reach here towards the leg. Make sure that you turn and that you don't push your pelvis backwards. You push your pelvis forward and we just go sideways. In case that you cannot go too low, remember, bend your knee to help it to lean. You can keep your arm on the front or at the back. If it's possible, you catch your foot. If not, as far as you can go. And we're just going to stretch here for four. And you can bend the knee. Remember this one if you feel a pulling sensation. Let's go for three. Always with your chest moving towards to the ceiling. Let's go for two. And just one more. Feel it lovely here on your left side. And move all the way up. Now this time we're going to turn towards to the leg and we're going to lean. Again, if we can go all the way with the leg straight, fantastic. But if it's not possible for us to lean, we're going to bend the knee to allow us to hinge. And we're going to catch our foot or we can keep our hands on the floor. We're going to hold here for four breaths. Breathe in. And breathe out. Remember, you can extend the leg, you extend the leg. Let's go for three. Breathe in. And out. And let's go two. Out. Just one more, completely parallel your chest to the ground. We raise our torso, reaching up. Now we're going to drop our left hand on the ground, swing the right one, knee on the ground to help us to lift, right foot on the floor to help us to push the ground, to allow us to extend here. And we're reaching backwards, arching our back. We hold for four. And three. Two, oh, I feel super nice. Just one more. And we release gently. Be careful with your knees so you rotate the leg when you are coming. Super. Hands at the back one more time. Open the left leg. Close the right one. We're going to lean on the side. And as far as we can go, remember that we can always bend the knee to help us to hinge more. We hold here for four. Your arm can be at the front or at the back if it's a little bit on the way. Let's go for three. And two. And just one more. Breathe in. And breathe out. Raise your torso. Oh, it feels great on the left side. So at the same time, we're stretching our legs. We stretch our back. Now we turn toes to the thigh and we lean. Again, if we cannot lean all the way down, you can bend your knee. Keep your chest parallel to the ground. We hold for four. And breathe. Let's go for three. And let's go for two. And now, just one more. And now, raise our torso. Oh, it feels great. Roll your shoulders, everybody. 
Well done. Hands at the back, and we're going to do the same. Open, and this time we're going to close the left and cross the right. Lift, remember this part, and going to turn around, okay, because we're going to roll in backwards. So we're going to catch our feet from under as we did before. We're going to move chin to chest, curving your spine, and we're going to roll in backwards. The idea is that we're rolling, and with the tummy, we lift us again to sit down. This is called the seal. Plans to Pilates. Remember that in our online platform, we have as well Pilates courses, so you want to join us. So ready? So we tilt backwards, chin to chest, and... Use your tummy to move your back again and balance on your sit bones. At the beginning, you're going to be fighting with your legs and stuff like that. That's okay until we gain control. So let's go backwards for three more. Backwards and balance. Let's go two. Balance. Just one more. Great. Now we swap the leg. Remember, if you feel uncomfortable on your lower back, you can place a towel to make you more nicer. Curve your spinal detention to chest and breathe in, rolling. Breathe out. Woohoo! Well done. Let's go for three. Yeah. Let's go for two. And just one more. You see your tummy muscles sitting. We're just going to open our legs to the butterfly. We use our hands to keep us our back straight. We're going to stretch toes to the right side, reaching up, and keep pressing with your feet to keep your leg muscles engaged so you will have more control. So let's hold here, palm facing down. Let's hold for four. And keep both sit bones on the ground. Three. And remember that I always told you, close your eyes, connect with your body, be aware what you are doing with your body, and most important, be aware that you are not pulling, pushing hard your body, you don't have pain in your joints. Come back, everybody, other side, gently push your feet, lift your tummy, engage your tummy, sideways, we hold for four, and three, and two, reaching, 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 two sit bones on the ground, just one more. And release. Um, sometimes we have different rhythm in our breaths, so it's okay. Just make sure that you keep it deep and long. Move your knees together. Extend your legs at the front. We're going to move forward, forward bend. Again, if we cannot hinge too much, we're going to bend the knees to allow us to hinge deeply. And we let the head drop. We hold for four. And let's go for three. two, and just one more, and raise, oh, this is feel fantastic, fantastic we feel after all, release your hands everybody, we're going to drag the legs in, and we're going to go on butterfly forward bend, now here, again, if your knees are, are, are higher than your hips, you're going to hold your knees to support your knees when you are leaning forward. In case that you cannot hinge, you can use your hands at the back to help us to push forward. Or if you can, you can just hold your feet and we go all the way down. I will prefer today for me at the back because at the back it really kind of gives us so much support to push forward. And the most important is that we go very intense in the stretch in your inner thigh, but now on your groin. So let's hold it here, and we hold for four, and breathe out. Let's go for three, and two, and just one more, without forcing. We raise our torso, well done, close your legs, we're going to curl the spine here. We take a deep breath, breathe in, and breathe out. We raise our torso, our head, and slide the feet forward, catch your feet, we go forward bend. Breathe in, and let's go three, and out. Let's go two. You can always bend your knees to don't feel a pulling, a straining sensation in your legs. One more deep breath. Breathe in, and out. And raise your torso, everybody. Roll your shoulders backwards. 
Just to remind you, when we go forward bend, we normally we want to keep the legs straight, but if our body doesn't hinge, we're just gonna strain our hamstrings. So it's better to bend the knees to allow us to move the tummy close to your thighs, curve the spine. So we are not only stretching the hamstrings, we're stretching as well our glutes and our spine. Just to keep it for advice, because at the beginning, when we don't have too much flexibility, we stay here no matter what, we keep the legs straight. But it will be more beneficial and will help you to develop more if you bend your knees, because what you want is to hinge and move your hips forward. So I hope these tips help you. So well done, everybody. How do you feel? Your legs are more flexible? Definitely. And remember that if you have time, you can come back to the chapter and when we start the session, and repeat. You can combine with another session and remember to save the ones that you prefer. You know, you do a session, it's like, oh, I love this one. Save it so then you can repeat again. So we're going to end with our last three breaths to energize us and open our cells, have a great posture for the day. Or if you are, if you are doing it at night time, to sleep good as well. So let's go. Breathe in, arms up. Breathe out through your mouth, arms down. Again, breathe in and breathe out. One more, breathe in and breathe out. Hands back, prayer position. And we say, Namaste, thank you for joining us. Remember that you can find us in Instagram and Facebook and also in TikTok as I Sacred Body Studio. And we see you in the next video. Don't forget to like, help us, put in your like, sun emojis in our comments and we we'll see you the next time.